Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wolfstalker25, and today I got a brand new action figure review for you guys on the newly released Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Korg Build a Figure Wave Mighty Thor Jane Foster Female Thor She Thor Thor Whatever you want to call her Whatever you want your You know Your like I guess name for her to be But this is the Mighty Thor figure That is what she's labeled on the box Pretty cool looking figure Very excited to get this figure It's one of the only three that I picked up from the wave As of right now I will try and get the rest later I guess to get Korg Because it's another look I already have Korg on the shelf So I don't know if I really need it But here's the back sculpt for her Pretty nice I really like the look of this figure I like all the detail Just plain black up here But you get a lot of molded like armor detail up there And then the skirt details Nice and everything like that little bit of a bummer that the cape isn't soft goods, but we know Marvel Legends does not do soft goods, really. Except for the last live stream they had, they did tease a soft goods lab coat, which could be a number of things. But we're looking at Thor today. Um, this is a very nice figure. Accessory-wise, we're going to take a look at what she does come with really quick. Um, unfortunately, she does not have any sets of extra hands. She just has this open hand here for a holding Mjolnir and this, like, random like relaxed basic hand um i think this is uh kind of sucks because on all the thors that we've had in this wave no one has extra hands i think she should have come with a set of fists for both sides could have had this extra hand like this one on this side and an extra meal near holding hand on this side i think all the thors should have come like that with a set of relaxed hands a set of gripping hands and a set of fists um the fact that they don't kind of sucks uh but whatever it is what it is i'm sure they use their budget with all these really good photo reel faces and with all these new sculpt works because most of her is brand new I, I don't think there's really a lot of reuse probably on her if there is let me know but i don't really know um but other than that accessory wise she does come with a helmeted head which has some nice photo reel on it and i really like the look of it it's very um comic book resemblant uh but yeah i like the detail on there it looks like the red paint on there is right I, I almost thought it was inaccurate on this side it looked like it was almost too high but you get that one nice hair sculpt as well um it's gonna her hair is gonna make it where she doesn't look up very well and then you do get this new sculpt of mjolnir now the handle is way longer than what we're used to you get cracks going throughout it the hammer is also bigger thicker and you get this bigger piece here it's painted up very nicely i really like this mjolnir i almost wish we got one that had like lightning effects where all the cracks were like lit up blue like the hammer is powered up um who knows maybe we'll get another version of that later or if you got a gun to marker or if you like painting that you could paint that up yourself uh but yeah that's pretty cool i'll do a quick mjolnir comparison as you could say here here is the mjolnir that came with the end game final battle thor as you can see they are just vastly different this one is so much longer this handle so much shorter um the only thing that's probably similar in size is this little bit here which is actually just ever so slightly smaller maybe no they might be the same but uh the handles are this one's i believe thicker maybe by a little bit um looks better but the hammer head itself of mjolnir is way different this one is way thicker on this one right here um as you could see just trying to compare them together yeah a lot bigger a lot better too um, so I like this Mjolnir a lot more. I wish we could get a version of this as just like clean, basic MCU Mjolnir. But this is like the same Mjolnir that's on the worthy Captain America and probably the other Thor from the two-pack with Sif that I've talked about previously in the other Thor reviews. So very nice. I like this sculpt work a lot. Um, and it's kind of heavy too. Like not like It's not the lightest. It's very thick. Um, so sculpt-wise on Jane, very nice helmetless head for um natalie portman this is obviously not her first figure she does have a padme that the black series has done so this is a very good one for the marvel legends though um i don't remember what her hair color is though in the previous movie but this is our first natalie portman marvel legend i wish we'd get a civilian one from like thor one or like dark world but you know i maybe now that they've got the head sculpt they could go make some magic happen with that but sculpt wise very nice uh armor there got the nice disc up on the like holding the cape down to the armor 
The armor itself looks pretty nice. You got the skirt piece, which has the disc on it again there. Nice paint work with the silver detail. You got very nice arm gauntlets and like nice paint work on the silver there. And then the legs are pretty good too there. So, pretty good. Articulation wise, how does she work though? She can look down a lot. She can't really look up at all, so you're not going to get her in any flight poses. Kind of a bummer with the hair. I wish she had more of like a flight, you know. I, who knows if she'll fly in the movie. She probably will. But, um, yeah, the, just that doesn't really work very well. Get a little bit of tilt, but with the hair, it doesn't really look that good. You could probably do a full 360 with the head, but you just got to work the hair around. Um, you get the shoulder. goes up that far. Come on, focus. Uh you get the upper bicep cut on both sides. Arms could do a full 360, but you just gotta work your way around that. You get double jointed female elbows. We're not used to this. And, 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 pinless. That's awesome. I'm really happy that they put all that, like all the effort into these figures. And then the wrist do swivel and hinge as well. There is no bicep or elbow cut. Uh, the hinge is a vertical hinge on the right side. And the left side is a horizontal. So left horizontal, right vertical. Do get a pretty nice diaphragm joint, which gets you back. Why is this not focusing? Back that far, forward that much. Some nice side to side. Um, is there a waist cut in there? Let's find out. I don't think there is. Uh... There's a little bit of movement, obviously, but there's no waist cut. Um, legs do go up that far. She could get back quite a lot. Goes out to the side a little bit. Uh, Jane on the splits. Um, that far. Upper thigh cut. Uh, double jointed knees? Yes, double jointed knees. Very nice. Um, she can basically kick her own butt if you force it. Uh, no boot cut. Bummer. I think there should have been a boot cut somewhere hidden in here at the silver, at the, like, the brown right there. Um, ankles go back that far, forward that much, and she does have the wonderful ankle pivot as well. But yeah, uh, very nice articulation on her. I, I, I really, I really dig that, that they actually, you know, put some effort into their female figures for this one because a lot of the female figures don't really get the love that the male figures do and I know all you Marvel Legend collectors out there know that um, so it's kind of a bummer and I'm really happy that she's actually getting some uh, you know effort done here uh, let's see there we go we got the focus in now let's do some size comparisons really quick here she is with a marvel legend comic book spider-man who is taller than her i don't know jane's height i don't know how tall she's supposed to be as thor we have our gi joe snake eyes um classified snake eyes power rangers lightning collection dino thunder red ranger star wars the black series captain rex who, you know, Natalie Portman's character would have interacted with at some point in the Star Wars universe, so, you know. I mean, obviously not the color that hair that Padme has, but... We have a uh, Fortnite Victory Royale, the scientist, um, which I'm sure, I said it with the other figure, I say this all the time, Fortnite gets everything. Now, oh, hold on one second. Um, one thing I do want to note is this foot, she doesn't really stand straight-legged, if you notice really quick. The the foot just doesn't want to go, like, straight. She can't do it. Like, it's like they have this, this side on ever so slightly at an angle somewhere at the boot. It's like the boot's on, like, slightly crooked. Because the armor, if you look, the shin doesn't want to, like, line up on a front, like, angle. And the knee goes too far to the side. I feel like there's something wrong with my leg sculpt. Or they just sculpted the leg weird. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll get back to the size comparisons. We have the Jazzware, the Visitor, SH Figuarts, Goku, shorter, shouldn't be, should be taller, uh, McFarlane, Space Marine, um, who else we gotta do? We got our, oh my god, everybody's fallen. The whole rev the whole size comparison side of things has fallen. We got our, uh, Figma Samus. Mezco Stealth Iron Man. 
Let's see who else we got to do. We got three more. We got our Jazzwares Spartan Collection Master Chief. Our 1000 Toys Master Chief. And then this guy's all over the place. Keeps falling. Last but not least, we have our Mafex Batman Hush Black Suit Variant Batman. So, there we go. There's all your size comparisons to other lines. Really quick, we're going to take a look next to her, next to some other characters from this wave that we've already seen in all their reviews, but we're going to do it here too, just because we kind of have to. Um, here she is next to the Armored Thor, I'm sure these two are going to have an awesome scene in the show. And here she is next to Ravenger Th Thor. I'm sure they will not have a scene together in the movie like that. But, you know, that's some good Hemsworth and Natalie Portman likenesses. And I think if you take that head off, put it on that body, these are some two looking awesome characters. Really quick while we have them here, since I haven't done a head swap yet, we'll do the head swap to the armored look just so you could see what she looks like with the armored head sculpt on. Here she is, all armored up. Focus. There we go. Very nice. Um, and then here you have your armored Thors together. And yeah, that's a good look. That's a good look together. Let me get the focus on there. Yep. That looks pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you can see her eyes more than you can see Chris's eyes up there, but you know, it is what it is. I think I think they just needed to bring that helmet down a little bit or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's your looks at those together. Now, here she is with her comic book counterpart. Here's the mighty Thor, mighty Jane Thor from the comics. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I like this body mold better than this one. But, uh, I mean, maybe... Let me see if we could do a little head swap in here. How this works. If you wanted your comic book, Jane, on a MCU body... Um... Yeah, the head sculpt doesn't really want to go on there, unfortunately. It just doesn't like the the ball joint, I don't think. So, I guess this ball joint's just a little too big. But, oh well, it is what it is. And then, last but not least, here is a look really quick. Let me grab her off the shelf. She is right here. Hopefully there's no avalanche. Here she is next to herself from the Star Wars universe with the episode 2 Padme. And uh, really quick, let's take a look at those head sculpts together. Let me get the focus in. Um, there we go. Pretty good. Not bad. I think I like the look of her better here as Jane than the Padme look. I don't think that's as good of a face sculpt. But uh, I f think I forgot to do the size height. Um, she does stand just over six inches tall. So there you go. That's the end of this review for her. That's the end of our look at Thor for the price point of $22 to $24.99. Uh, what do I think about her? I think this female Thor is probably in my opinion, a must-have for any Marvel Legend MCU collector. This is our first Jane. Obviously, you know, if you want her armored up, put the helmet on her, take this head sculpt, put it on a whatever female body you could find that they have. They don't have many, but you try and make a custom Jane, you know, civilian, custom arm, and then you have the armored. Either way, I'm assuming at some point we're going to get a probably a civilian Jane. They have to, right? Like, they go back to a Thor 1 Thor and a Jane 2 pack. Like, I feel like that's kind of like a, you know, Thor 1 never got any figures. Go back and do it, Hasbro. Please. We need fully armored and golden armored Odin and 
Loki with the shorter hair, whatever they had going on for him there, and just don't make Hemsworth's eyebrows blonde like they did in the movie, because it looks weird. Just make them brown or whatever. Make them noticeable. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for me. I really like this figure. I think you should probably go out and pick her up. I don't see her really going on sale. I think she's going to be a pretty sought-after figure, especially after the movie comes out, if she's still even around online or in stores at that point. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully you guys found this review helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to pick up this figure, or what do you think of her? So, I think she's pretty solid and pretty good figure. So, yeah, I, uh, I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one, everyone. Um, I'm recording this video on the 2nd, so it's probably going to come out between, like, the 10th and 12th or something like that. It's probably going to come out before Ravager Thor or right after. Not sure, but, yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you haven't done so already, would always appreciate a like as well as a subscribe if you're new to help out the channel. Do greatly appreciate it. But that's going to do it for me today, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.